okay let's click the summary tab and then click on a3 and type product and press enter and then let's select a3 to d15 and click in the name box and let's type database and press the enter key and then let's go to the data menu and select pivot table and pivot chart report and we want Microsoft Excel list or database selected and pivot table selected and then click next now we want to make sure that database appears in the range box and select next and we want new worksheet selected and then let's click the layout button and drag the product field button to the row area and drag the 2000 field button to the data area and then double click on that and let's select average under summarize by and then let's click OK and OK and finish and now now let's drag the 2001 button from the pivot table field list and drop it on A3 and then on the pivot table toolbar let's click the pivot table button and select the wizard and then click the layout button again and double click on sum of 2001 and let's change that to average and OK and then drag the 2002 data marker to the data area and let's change that to average by double clicking on it and OK and then click the options button OK and the options button and we can see what options we can set there and then click OK and finish and now drag the data button B3 and drop it on A3 product and then click the product drop arrow and let's deselect show all and then select hard drive and click OK and then let's click the pivot table button again and wizards and layouts and let's drag the product marker to the row from the row area to the page area we could do this on the pivot table itself we've got some options here as to how we can do this and then let's click OK and finish and then double click on product A1 and deselect all items under hide item and click OK but I'm then going to look for CD-ROMs and it's not there because I didn't scroll up on that other screen and deselect all of them so I'm going to have to cancel out of here and double click on there again and there's the one I failed to deselect so let's deselect them and let's check everything and OK and now let's click that, that drop arrow and select CD-ROM and OK and now from the drop list for B1 let's select all and then click the pivot table and the wizard button and click layout again and drag products from the page to the row area and click OK and finish and now double click on A4 and we can see what's there and cancel out of that now double click on C5 and we see that information now let's we can right click on the tab for that new sheet and select delete and 
and it makes us confirm that click delete again and then click in on cell C6 and let's say uh, click the currency style I'm looking at selections here it didn't seem to select all of those options but uh, Uh, let's click the currency button I'm going to try undoing that and so make sure I select the right cell and do it again <laughs> and then I'm going to drag the data field button and drop it on products and and then click on B4 and on the formatting toolbar I want to select the fill color and select tan and then drag the data button back to B3 and then click the pivot table drop arrow and select table options And we can observe the options. There we are again, and cancel. And now click the Kenner 2 tab. And let's change B4 to 500,000. And press the Enter key. And then let's go back to Sheet 1, our pivot table. And note the average for hard drive in, in 2000. And then click the Refresh Data button, which is at exclamation mark and notice that the total has now changed it doesn't update automatically now click in C4 and click the field settings button and let's select number and currency and OK and OK and let's save that and go to the file menu and close